Hello and welcome to another video response. This is for Giltar with his topical video. Uh, this individual is asking for video responses. I'm not intruding as I usually do. Uh, alternatives to uh, legal action in the third party community or industry and this is mostly referring to uh, the increase in skills of uh, people able to make their own model kits or toys at home wanting it to sell and share with other people and uh, 3D printers are uh, looming across all brands of our uh, hobby and industry at um, a household easy to afford price now over the years we've heard of um, you know some toy modifier model fit kit customer or customizer or whatever putting out a piece and getting sued from time to time for uh, big money and uh, the entire uh, communities are uh, freaking out some uh, blogs like uh, Sankaku Complex, uh, Gundam Guy blowing it at way out of uh, proportion and people getting absolute uh, shit scared of uh, going out there and um, contributing to uh, third market or uh, the reproduction or bootlegging of small production uh, kits and toys which is not necessarily uh, evil or a bad thing this is what the companies want to do they want to uh, scare us and they have very much so successfully done on the other hand um, and we don't even have to talk about China here there is a lot of uh, aftermarket decals small parts uh, accessories and swappable parts across many toys and model kits out there in the greater community and are striving very very well very very healthily uh, you are um, stepping or breaking across uh, laws and international laws but with how one can be anonymous on the internet there's ways around it where um, you will have to make a complete um, anonymous uh, profile for yourself separate from your um, hobby and real life personality and if shit does go uh, sour uh, ditch and run it's just a matter of uh, being very very smart about it and not trying to uh, run it like an official business now in the uh, second video within this uh, series there's talk about uh, the license uh, or special event Comic Cat and Wonder Festival in Japan. What these two festivals uh, allow is the companies pull all of their copyright uh, material together and allow uh, people who scratch build make their own toys come uh, with a limited license sell their goods with a special little sticker on it. I've uh, seen and own works with such sticker on it and uh, after the event uh, it could still be sold uh, on the second hand market that one item is uh, completely uh, legitimate uh, to own, make, build, uh, whatever and I think uh, such a process should be seen, brought to the West because uh, what a lot of people don't realize with the whole Comic Cat thing or Wonder Festival thing with uh, the artist if they're drawing uh, comics or they're making uh, model kits if their work is fantastic and they're constantly selling out or the companies really like the idea they're normally hired on as an artist or their work is uh, bought off them and actually mass produced for the masses with the appropriate royalties going to the artist uh, the eastern countries are a lot more lenient in um, this uh, sort of activity but in the west it's uh, far more harsh it can be uh, done you just have to be very uh, careful and selective of uh, selling it off a website in uh, very small numbers and quantity on the low side and soon as things start to feel out of place dodgy or emails of uh, stop for legal actions stop clean up set up again and keep operating just some hints if you do plan on uh, making a product and selling it on the internet avoid major services uh, don't go on eBay uh, or advertise on anything big such as uh, Facebook or any sort of thing that has tags and uh, you can get your uh, ass caught out very very quickly uh, copyright holders uh, do look out there 
if you do go on, go on YouTube, do not say aftermarket shit for the Transformers Optimus Prime Masterpiece, whatever. Just uh, be a little more generic. Uh, aftermarket set Transformers, that's it. Or aftermarket set uh, Mecha Toys. When you're selling the boxes and you've got it on the website, use as little keywords as uh, possible of the uh, copyright holder stuff. It will be a lot harder to find you. And have a picture of the actual thing you've uh, created. And in a smaller print um, image form, have a, uh, a type of what model kit toys it can fit on, but not on the uh, bigger uh, logo, title, brand or anything. Try to make it out as it being uh, generic as possible, <laughs> even though it's not. Have a really solid exit plan. Once you are discovered, once a warning is, they always send the warning before they outright sue you of uh, cyst and desist. Uh, this means that we know you're breaking the law, and if you keep on doing it, we will put resources in, tracking you down and suing you. Once you get that first letter, uh, drop the handle that you're currently selling under, drop the website immediately, but not necessarily the stock. Once the heat has died down, reform everything and just rebuild yourself from scratch. New image, new boxing of the stock, uh, and possibly a few more bits of stock as well. And just uh, go around different channels of uh, trying to rebuild yourself. And uh, this way, you're not going to get in massive, massive uh, <laughs> legal shit. Of course, after a bit of a while, if your product does get uh, very um, popular, uh, after market casters in Hong Kong, China is going to pick it up and just undermine you anyway. But if it's more about getting your work out of there than making a dollar, that's pretty fucking fantastic. And more people will pretty much enjoy your design. Another way is once you get sick of uh, selling and you don't want to sell your product anymore because you have been chased around the block a few times, the uh, website E2046, a resin uh, figure aftermarket uh, model kit caster, you're able to send designs to them and uh, they will uh, produce it and sell it as a part of uh, their catalog if it's all about a, a name game that's also quite a viable stake so all in all unless you're doing going out there and doing something very very stupid uh, playing with uh, Google and Google services uh, to get tagged and companies to chase you down very very quickly you should be fairly safe in uh, engaging in this community until things pretty much change in the future I would like to make it absolutely clear that uh, as people who modify and make model kits not outright bootlegging by stealing an idea and selling it on uh, it is an okay activity to engage in it's just very large corporations including these toy corporations or model kit corporations that look after us are extremely greedy and that realistically for them uh, to stop and to tell them that we want different, we want the model that's similar to Japan, maybe it's a good idea to write up an email and uh, send it off to Hasbro, Tommy, um, Bandai, whatever. Unfortunately, this whole talk of uh, the 3D printers of trying to get these companies to sell us our designs that we can print off at home, bad news, it will never happen because it is not in the maximizing method of uh, profiteering or profit making it's a community thing these companies are never interested in engaging in community and just wishing to um, please the uh, investors the uh, stock exchange market the stockholders the uh, leading people that are uh, profit the most out of it though if you're not affecting the business too much if you're doing a very small operation they have no reason to look for you because they've got um, Google bots uh, scouring the internet though if you're ever very very clever you will not get caught uh, but if you are engaging these activities uh, even though I'm talking about words like not getting caught and going under the radar I'd like to make it clear that really this sort of activity is uh, not morally wrong it may be illegal but there's always laws out there that are uh, very stupid and sometimes worth um, going against so if uh, as a whole community you want things to change send emails to these companies 
and engage in these activities. If everyone is selling aftermarket stuff and buying toys and gluing it onto these uh, toys, eventually they're going to have to give up and uh, play along. And uh, that might be best for the future. This is the uh, PhD man-child. Uh, just a little touching on um, third party. I think it's uh, completely acceptable to do. And uh, big companies is not out to go out and destroy and crush every single small mob doing it for a small community. Uh, don't get greedy. Don't push too much product. Don't charge too much money. And have a good time. Peace the fuck out.